Hey guys, it's Stephanie. I'm Trey. This is your weekly dose of BS. Yo, it's a big day. The Kim or the Skims Dolce & Gabbana collab comes out. Is it good? Well, I don't know. The website keeps crashing, and they just sent me an email saying that Ooh. it's back up. But did you see the marketing for this? It was iconic. Oh, what was it? With no, Courtney in it. No. You don't watch the Kardashians, do you? No. Oh. They no. had a whole fight a few seasons ago. Oh, about like the wedding. I did yeah. see that. Yes. So it's my wedding city and my wedding designer, and you stole it. And now she has this collab, but I'm I'm been all day and trying it's to Kim. buy this stuff. I, and it's not I have working. a duster off of her last Dolce and Gabbana thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When she like yeah. did, it was like Kim for Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah. yeah, the Skims website is still not working, so they're liars. Oh. But I want to see it. I'm, I'm like, oh, it's up. Is it? Oh, okay. This is, oh my gosh, oh. you should buy some of this. It's not crazy expensive. Let me see. It's like Skims prices. Oh, a lot of cheetah. A lot of cheetah well, prints. It's all cheetah, I think. Huh? It's all, I think it's all cheetah print. Is it all cheetah? If you don't like cheetah print, this is probably not for you. Um, I don't know. See, now your phone is so slow, your Wi-Fi. Um, but no, it's the website. Everyone's on it trying to buy this stuff. Yes. Okay. I'll have to look. It's it's really reasonable if you're listening it's to like this. under a hundred bucks, right? Yeah. It's most. I mean, I don't see anything. There's one thing that's like a silk long sleeve sleep set. I don't know what it looks like, but it's like oh, seven hundred dollars. There's a oh, it's all just like oh, I would do like this stuff, like, like the, the yeah, more like, like the more basic stuff. I would do like I would do this. That's cute. Do you own any skims? No, but I buy this for me, and I'll give you my credit well, card. Here, click it. Okay. We're, please hold. We're just, we're shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still That's available? That's cute. Yeah, the white. I you would know, do that. Good for Skimberly. Like she's had a Fendi collab, a Dolce Gabbana collab. Um. Yeah. Can I do that? Can I do I this know. size? We'll let you check out. Um. Select a size. I don't know, Trey. Go back um, up. I think you have to go back up. Yeah. But hit, anyways, so I size. I would highly recommend um buying stuff because I'm going to. Oh wait. Um, but yeah, so anyway, add to bag. I don't think they have the white one. Do I like, I don't even know if I like the black one, but I, I bought it add on Trey's, on Trey's account. <laughs> Thanks, Trey. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is super cute. What does it say on this? I need to see what this thing says in the middle of my booby area. I don't know, but you're about to buy like, it. Yeah, let, make sure it, it says doesn't Dolce say. Gabbana skims. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, here, Give me see. the white Can one. Can get the white one? Size, oh, I got the white one, too. Size small. Okay, perfect. Now, let's... Do you want both? Yeah, but look, I'm going to keep looking. Just I just want to save that in your cart. Okay. Um, And then I'll give you my credit card at the end <sighs> of it. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, anyways back I'm to shopping. Business. This is, like, what I do on a daily basis. I'm like, oh, I'm bored. I have nothing better to do with my life. And then let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Have you watched the show... Um. Oh, shoot. What's it called? Special Forces. What is... Who is it? Does it... Who has who's in it's it? It's a competition show where like celebrities. It's basically a Survivor, but they have to like do stuff. Oh, I feel like no, but I think I would be great on that show. I haven't watched it, <laughs> but they just announced the new cast. Okay, tell me. Uh, Trista Sutter, who is that? She was um, the first Bachelorette oh, back in yes. the day. Like I remember being in college, and she was like the first Bachelorette. My grandmother was in the hospital, ended up. This is so depressing. Ended up passing away, oh. and we watched her season. It's it brings back really sad memories. Actually, go ahead. Who else? <laughs> I'm start crying over that. Um, Denise Richards. Love. Okay, not bad memories. <laughs> Stephen Baldwin. Okay, I know who that is. Um. An Olympic gold medalist, Nathan Adrian. No idea. Pro surfer, Alana Blanchard. No idea. Pro soccer player, Landon Donovan. Obviously, I don't know anybody in sports. No. Carrie Hart. He's married to Pink. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Brody Jenner. Okay. Um, someone else I don't know. Uh, Ali Fedotowski. Bachelorette. Oh, Bachelorette. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh huh. Um, more sports people, an influencer, um, Kyla Pratt. Uh, is that Christy Carlson Chris, Romano? Is that the uh, what's she was on the Proud Family? Um, okay. Christy Carlson Romano was on uh, Even Stevens. Okay. Yeah, I won't be watching. I mean, this is so unfair because half of them are athletes, so you know they got their shit together. Yeah. The other well, half are like not. Yeah, they're Olympians. They're obviously gonna win. We need to get all the people who have, you know, I want to see something like that with, like, people that have no athletic ability. Well, last year they had JoJo Siwa. Does she, well. I think she did well. I Well, yeah, she's a dancer. She's still, oh, like. yeah, that's true. She's an she's, athlete. Yeah, she's an athlete. 
Yeah. Huh. Good point. Yeah. You need to have somebody like Trey and I who can't even run a half marathon. Yeah. <laughs> <With that. laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's our that's our thing. Yeah. Um, so in Kim Zolciak news, the house is going up for auction. How do we? Okay, th- you've been saying this, Trey, for uh, over a year. An auction so, date has been set. It's for December third. I bet you it doesn't happen. Um, well, so Croy has filed multiple motions with the court to try yeah. to get um, like sole decision making power on the house. He said that they've received offers. But Kim won't accept the offers because she'll leave with nothing. And he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, but at least we, like, pay off our debts. Yeah. And she say no. And he's saying that um, she's received, you know, multiple offers for work that she's turning down because her ego is too high. And she won't take the money. And that could help get them out of the hole. And she's still spending money just erroneously. Um, so they set a date of December 3rd. And the house is going to be auctioned. They just dropped the price on the house by $300,000. Mm-hmm. And they're hoping that that sells. But How much is the house um, on sale for? It's, let me see. I think it's at 3.6 now. What was it at at one point? It was used. It was at $6 million at one point. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you guys are in the mood for a house, I feel like that, okay, that's a probably deal. a pretty, is it a pretty good deal at this price? I mean, yeah. It's okay. a big house. Yeah. Um, let's see. Now the house is priced at uh, 3.65. Okay. So it's seven bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, uh, 14,000 square feet. They originally listed in October of 2023 for $6 million. So, and also, say what you will about Kim, but I think she's the kind of person that takes good care of her home. Uh, I don't think so. You because don't? I d- that is a big house. That costs a lot of money to maintain. Like the front gate's been broken for a long time. How do you know all this insider stuff about her front gate? It's been like on the news and stuff. Oh, okay. Because like that's how the police just go in. Oh, okay. Um, like the neighborhood HOA has filed complaints because the house isn't being taken care of. Like, oh. I, I think there was a See, word. I would think she would be like. I can't imagine what the condition the pool's in. Yeah. You know, like stuff like that. Well, and stuff like that takes a lot of money to maintain. Yes. Home, the bigger the home, the bigger the nightmare. Yeah. But wow. um, Kimberly is set to not have the house anymore right before Christmas, too, which is real sad. But apparently her and Tom Hanks' son have been seeing each other again. Oh. Wouldn't that be something? That would. You know what she should do? Um, I saw something. I was on TikTok the other day. And they, you know how sometimes it'll, like, force you to watch people's lives? Like, it'll, like you're just scrolling and then somebody's lives pop up and you're yes, like, why? Yes, I hate that. And it was, you know whose lives it was? Who? It was um, Teresa Judice and her daughter. Selling bags? Th- no, they were selling everything. Oh. Like every, I mean, everything. They were like, the next thing is, and then they had the, it was like, at one point it was like a candy bar or something, like some like chocolate treat. They had like everything. They were on that live selling things for four hours. Listen. Four hours. Here's the problem with the world we live in today is everyone thinks that they can sell everything. And people get on TikTok. I saw someone today. They were like, guys, I thought these Crocs weren't cool, but they are fire. They're like these new puffy Crocs. And I just, they look cool and they're on sale. And if you paid $30 for them, I'm sorry for you because they're $15 at the TikTok shop. And it's like, <laughs> those are ugly as shit. And someone's making commission off of it. It's the craziest thing. Oh, my gosh. No. I mean, you know, my kids still wear Crocs. They probably would. Yeah. What? Cruise, what? yeah. Where I thought those left us a long time no, ago. Good no, for Crocs. All these, they all these keep kids just coming still back. Wear Crocs. Yes. That's crazy. They all, you know why? Because they're like easy to put on. Like so many kids. Now I don't know. I don't know any adults that wear Crocs, but I do know I have a 13 year old who has a pair of Crocs. Yeah. Chance he, wears slides. Like he still wear. He like wears slides, but Cruz will wear some Crocs. Yes. Does he wear them in comfort mode or sport mode? What do you mean sport mode? Sport mode is when you have the strap behind your ankle. Oh, comfort, comfort mode. Comfort mode is when comfort it's mode. above. Comfort mode. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's just, I mean, I don't know, maybe both modes. I don't know. I really don't pay attention to what he wears half the time because I'm like, oh, geez. <laughs> Mom is going to have to really get you a stylist when you go to college. <laughs> um, I think as you know, whenever you wear a uniform every day, you don't really learn how to dress yourself. Uh, well. Because sometimes he walks out and I'm like, that does not match. Do you think Hmm. this looks good together? And he says yes. And I'm like, huh. Hmm. Okay, we need to talk about the newest episode of Real House. Well, actually last week's episode of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Everyone's talking about Bronwyn's husband. 
I okay, I've not watched it, but I've seen things online w- with a picture of her and her husband, and they're like, "What do you think?" So tell me what happens, and so, I'll tell you my opinion. Okay, so they all go to Palm Springs okay. for. Bron was doing, uh, I think it was a 10-year anniversary party, and they invited other friends, but invited all the ladies, of course, and they were all staying at the house. Okay. And they, she takes them on a private plane there. Mind you, Bronwyn's husband, he invented the Palm Pilot. What is a Palm Pilot? It was like before a BlackBerry, like my, the Microsoft, I think it was Microsoft. Uh-huh. Um, it, was, it was like, a, like a, a tablet, but it was a cell phone. It was like before a cell phone. Okay. But you could like draw things on it and like send it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know okay. how long. But it was it was it was groundbreaking. He made a lot of money. Okay. How much? Look, Google. How much he made? Let's see. <laughs> we have to know all of our facts, Trey. <laughs> Bronwyn Newport, husband net worth. I mean, and these things are never correct. But let's just see. Well, to give you an idea, he gave her a $4 million necklace for their 10-year anniversary. Okay, yeah. So, so he's, like, he's doing very well, yes. Uh, yeah, we're guessing he's worth upwards of 50 Mm-hmm. Which, yeah, okay. but it's a little more than that if you give her a $4 million necklace. Yeah, I sort of say that doesn't make financial sense to give somebody... No. Okay, yeah. So, and I mean, she spends a lot of money on clothes. So, they go on a private plane, whatever, get there, and Heather... What, is it a really big private plane? Tell me about the private plane. It was probably 30000 Thirty thousand. The charter there, yeah. Was it their private plane, or they chartered somebody else's? No. Well, I can tell you they didn't fly it back. Okay, so, but it was. They, they would have told them if it was theirs. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't remember. I don't think it was theirs. Okay. Um. So, Heather is not met on the trip because her and Heather are not in a good spot, and okay. Brian was like, "I don't want you to come. It's my anniversary party. I don't want you to come." So she didn't. So they get there, and Lisa FaceTimes Heather. And just makes it real uncomfortable. They'd been there not very long. Yeah. And Lisa FaceTimes Heather and is like, wish you were here, da 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 in front of Bronwyn. Bronwyn's like, that's kind of bitchy. So it gets brought up at dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, and her husband is like, hey, we're not doing this. Like, this is this is not this kind of trip. Like, why are y'all doing this? Mind you, they know Lisa and her husband before the show. Yeah. And they're like, he's like, we've had great trips with them before. I don't know why she's acted this way. So then something at dinner gets brought up about um, Bronwyn's daughter. And the husband also shuts that down. And what I'm glad. Brought up about her? Something about, so her, Bronwyn's daughter's dad is no longer in the picture. And okay. somehow Lisa knows him. Um, but they were going into like family dynamics. Uh-huh. And you could tell he was like, this isn't a TV combo. Like, yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah, this isn't fair. it. Um, and that was kind of the whole point of it. But he went up to John Barlow and was like, hey, if your wife can't get along with my wife, I'm going to have to ask y'all to leave because we've been here a day and this is for our anniversary and I'm not like we didn't bring y'all on the trip for this. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Normally. How did John Barlow take it? Uh, he went to Lisa and was like, hey, he wants us to leave if y'all can't resolve this. <laughs> okay. And Lisa was like game on. Oh, God. Okay. They didn't end up leaving early, um, but I'm so happy that people on the internet are like, good for him. Like, this is his trip. They're in his house. He's fighting with his wife. Like, why are you doing... But he's... You can tell where he's protecting, it, and it looked a bit controlling Uh until you really take a step back and think, like, he just paid a lot of money for this trip. Like, you're all at his house celebrating his anniversary. You're fighting with his wife, talking about his stepdaughter, like, on a TV show that mm-hmm. he's not in control of. Like, it made a lot of sense. And people are rooting for him. Some people are like, this guy's awful. But a lot of people are like, you know what? Yeah, good for him. Like, someone should have said something. And, like, if you're going to disrespect my wife and my home, yeah, get out. Okay. So then. Go ahead. Yes. Then they're leaving. Okay. And they're taking a commercial plane home. Okay. Can you believe that? The people's plane. Yes. <laughs> okay. Which yes. meant production was not paying for a round trip private plane home because they're not what? Filming it. So Lisa is an economy. And that is just the biggest slap in the face she's ever experienced. Is everybody an economy? No. Who? Bronwyn upgraded herself, I'm assuming. Uh-huh. Um, but Lisa didn't. And there were only two seats. And so Bronwyn. So it was just Bronwyn and Lisa headed back or everybody? No, else everyone was headed there? back. Was everybody an economy or no? Mm-hmm. Everyone else was an economy, but um, Bronwyn. Bronwyn and her husband were in first class. Okay. Assuming that 
what production probably put them there and they just upgraded themselves. Is that correct to think? I'll, I'll tell you everything that happened after oh. you tell me everything. And um, so Lisa throws a fit. Okay. And she was like, I would rather fly to LA first class because that's all I can get and then fly first class back home before I sit in economy. She's like, I have just I haven't sat in economy since college. And then she's mm-hmm. also mad that she didn't um, put in her Delta um, Advantage number to get her Sky Miles. She was also upset about that. Okay. And that's their new big fight. Okay. So tell me how all this actually happened. Okay. So now I'll tell you how it happened. I, I literally, I do not, like, I didn't even watch it, but I do not do Housewives like a normal person. First of all, production told, asked Lisa, I know this, to call Heather. Because mm-hmm. they have to push Heather in there somehow uh, for example, like season two, there is a scene with where Brandy gives Carrie um, Duber and I gifts to ask us to go visit her family in, Cope. I think, Mississippi or something. I forget where, but. Oh, Tennessee. Tennessee. <clears throat> Tennessee. And she does it in front of Cameron. And then Cameron gets upset about it, right? Because it's not etiquettely appropriate. But. Production pulled Brandy aside and said, hey, now's the time to give them the gifts and kind of set her up. And Brandy was just didn't think it through and didn't realize it until like after this whole explosion happened. Right. So trust me when I say that Lisa was not just sitting there like, oh, I can't wait to call Heather. She was asked to call Heather. Mm -hmm. They probably pulled her aside and said, "Okay, call Heather. Tell her you miss her because you get paid per episode and Heather's pretty much out of the episode and they have to bring her in somehow. So that was something that she was asked to do that backfired and she probably didn't think it through or maybe she was like, okay, I'll just do it even though I know I'm in it. It's going to get me in trouble. And then also, um, like, I know people are like, oh, I'm not, I've never even met Lisa, so we're not friends at all. But I also, and I've never met Bronwyn. I have no fight in this game. But also, in Lisa's defense, I've been filming where they, like, hold up signs. They give you talking points. Probably it was pretty boring. Nobody's fighting. Everyone's on their best behavior, which is great. But if you're a housewife watcher and nothing happens, you are then complaining how it was the most boring episode that you've ever seen, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they asked her to bring stuff up or kind of pushed her to bring stuff up. And Lisa did. And, you know, it was a good, and Bronwyn did the right thing. She made the most of a moment that was given to her, right? Um, Flying home, flying there, I'm sure production at least paid for the gas of the private plane. That's what happened with um, whenever we flew. And um, They only paid for the gas? Well, I think Cameron's father-in-law at the one time owned the private plane. So they just, they flew for, they paid for everything to get us there. So, Mm -hmm. and then, um... Flying home, I'm sure that Bronwyn and her husband upgraded themselves. Bronwyn did not fly, pay for them to all fly Delta home. I'm sure that they probably only had, after doing the after the budget for the private plane, only had the funds, kind of like we did with Copenhagen, to fly um, <clears throat> coach home. Also, it was a 48-minute flight. And Just also, there are only so many first-class seats on small planes, right? Here's the deal. My husband does very well. I fly first class whenever we go out of the country. I'm a big pain in the butt about that. But if it's under nine hours, I fly coach all the time. Travis and I fly coach all the time. We fly coach with our kids all the time. And only sometimes is it making Kevin extra. Yes, yes. (laughs) But it's not that big of a deal. I think it's so ridiculous. There's not that much of a difference in on like a really short flight. I mean, I would say anything. Unless your seats lay them back and you're going to be there for nine hours. Mm -hmm. I don't see the reason to spend the money to fly fly first class. Mm -hmm. And that's just me. And we can afford it. And it's just, again, a fool and his money will soon be separated. That is a a very big thing that I believe in because it's just like what you get shitty food on a flight where you're setting up straight no matter what. Maybe you have a little bit more room. But I'm a pretty small girl. It doesn't, I don't need a lot of extra room. Um, I just don't think it would be a big deal to me. I uh, probably to her, maybe because the other two were first class. Maybe they only had two first class seats on that flight. Well, that's and what everyone Bronwyn else said got too, pushed back. Was she was like, I'm not too good for economy, but if Lisa is, Lisa could have chartered herself a plane. Lisa could have gone in on the street mm-hmm. to Porsche, bought herself an $80,000 car and drove home. Lisa could have gone the next day. She could have rented the house for an extra day. Like she could have done a lot of things, but she just wants to complain about it. But here's my thing that like kind of bugs me in Real Housewife world um, is a lot of these people 
and I don't, I don't, I don't watch this show, but like if you're like a lot of the people like will rent a home and not, you know, do all these things, but then they only fly first class. Like I like people that spend a crap ton of money on clothes, Mm -hmm. but don't like, you know, like just, I would rather have a mortgage, right? Like have something that works for you or do something like that. I don't understand like people who only fly first class, only wear certain things, but then like there are other things that they don't, I don't know. I'm just like, it just seems like it's a little bit more to be like, look at me to everybody. And it's kind of like the $30,000 millionaire that you hear Mm -hmm. of in Dallas, right? That drives like a Porsche and then like, you know. Rents an apartment. Yeah. It's like, why? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't, well, especially that leads because. Me to Beverly Hills. Okay. Well, especially because a lot of times your rent is more expensive than your mortgage would be, uh-huh. which is so dumb. Like, I, I don't know. It's so dumb. Yep. So, okay. But go ahead. Beverly Hills it is. So I saw a TikTok um, about Dorit and it was, I think some realtor posted this. Her home is apparently in pre-foreclosure. Mm-hmm. But homegirl's got a, a new Chanel jacket every two days. But wait, is she, were, were, did they buy the house or were they, they renting did, it? They did, they bought a house. They've been okay. renting a house forever. Okay. And then they finally bought a house, but remember they bought it only under Doreen's name because PK had I did all not that know legal this. stuff going on. Okay. And so production kind of like grilled her on it and she was like, oh, it's da 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 but apparently it's a pre foreclosure, so I'm very excited to see how Beverly Hills goes. But they're I'm, not going to handle it. They they don't. I, they really? won't handle it. No. Look at the Kyle stuff last year. No. Yeah. Like they never push them to do anything they don't want to do. No. Yeah. I don't think they'll yeah. handle it. That's just me putting it out there. They should. I mean, if you put your life out there, I think, and something keeps coming up like this, they. I mean, remember that one girl? I felt so bad for her. Who? Um, Lynn, was her name? Lynn, or, oh, oh, Lynn Curtin. Yeah, oh, that was terrible. Whenever, like they, I mean, that was just like a, a little too much, especially with the girls. Being when they involved. got served. But um, but again, and I do, don't know Dorit, but again, like, I do you think that's more PK than her though. Like not paying that. I don't know. <sighs> I never thought Dorit was, or you know, is the breadwinner. I don't think she's a breadwinner. But Dorit is wait, making well over a million dollars now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, I hope she's running her clothes. I see in L.A. The only reason I would in L.A. There's so many places to rent the most you expensive, can rent amazing anything. things, anything, anything when in, when you live there, and you can go and try them on, and it's so easy. So, we used to go to the most amazing. It was called. Um, what was it called? Actually, I actually don't want to tell you because I don't want y'all to find it. Yeah. But there was the most amazing, um, it was a fashion library is what they called it because mm-hmm. they had every collection. Everything. Every designer. Like, it was incredible. And it was in this house um, in, what was it, Mulholland Estates? Mm-hmm. And it, I mean, I looked at the rent on this house. The rent on the house like $40,000 a month. And and they just filled the house with clothes. It was, it was insane. In most gorgeous view. Like to get up there, you didn't have cell phone service like when you were up there. So like to get an Uber in and out was like kind of sketchy, but it was great. And they had everything. And you no, could I rent. Mean, how much was it to rent like a $6,000 dress? You could rent like a $6,000 dress for probably four or $500. You rented, what was it? Your, um... One year I had that this Alex black, Perry black Alex Perry one shoulder for the crocodile. reunion and it was probably a $7,000 dress. But it was a runway only. You couldn't mm-hmm. even buy it. And I rented it for $600. Thrifty. Yeah. yeah I was very thrifty when yeah. I did it. What was that trip? I think it was the Copenhagen trip. Everything you have on that trip was on rented. That trip, and it was all I rented runway. from that place and it was, and one of them was something Erica Jane wore on her opening. I didn't realize that until... Somebody pointed it out. It was like a blue dress. Yep. Um, that's why I feel like a lot of the Beverly Hills women, even though they're dressed to the nines, hopefully they're smart enough. Mm-hmm. I would rent everything. I would, if I lived in Beverly Hills, I would oh, yeah. be a renting fool. And you have to have like a stylist, but Trey was my stylist. Like we totally <laughs> rigged the system. We we did it actually very well. Yes. We, I had like a fake email address. Yes. That like pretended like I was a stylist and would yeah. like get me into things. Yeah. And they also had one in New York and you could go there and you could rent Birkin bags. You can rent Everything. anything. Like Everything. name it. We so never we rented York- bags because we no. I had bags. Also their bags did not look brand, you know, like brand new. The clothes. They had been. Yeah. They had been used. Yes. Yes. And yes. like they, they, didn't, they weren't necessarily in brand new condition, but they're, I mean, we would go to New York and mm. you would rent outfits for parties like day of and it was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I had this really beautiful, like, gold, probably $10,000 jumpsuit that I wore to oh, yeah. a, a Touch magazine party. And 
I rented it for a few hundred bucks, five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was probably a $8,000 jumpsuit. We are so thrifty. So that's why I'm like, Dorit, I don't know what's going on with them, you know, mm-hmm. financially. But I, yes, she dresses to the nines, but I don't know if they, I don't know if she buys them or if she rents them. I hope she rents them because it's such a cool place to live where yeah. you have the availability to rent. Even the New York girls, I hope they rent a lot of their stuff. I know Lisa Renna used to rent. Yes. She talked about she it talked too. She talked about it on the show. But there were things that I would see her wear, like custom Tom Ford suits mm-hmm. that like I know this fashion, fashion library, library only had. And it was like, good for you. Like, like the New York ladies, I'm wondering if some of them don't do it as well, like rent as well. I hope that I would. I think it's so smart because there are certain things, especially when you film, that you have to wear that are such like a one or two wear thing. I mean, that's, you know, you're just, it's such a waste of money. I think spend money on coats, spend money on handbags, spend money on shoes, but like clothes, unless it's something you just really, really, really love. Um, You can't wear it twice on the show. Yeah, like whenever you're doing that for a living, it's, so anyway, I hope Jory gets it. I mean, I hope Kim Zolciak gets it together. I hope all of them. I don't want to see anybody in a bad spot in life, especially when they have children. That's Mm -hmm. horrible. Um, but, but I have, do not know Lisa, but to have her back a little bit to play the devil's advocate, sometimes you're mm. asked to do things mm-hmm. that, you know, yeah. you wouldn't but want to I, do. I support Bronwyn's husband. Yeah. No, being I do like, too. I don't like this. And We're not deal, doing the, this. The guys don't get paid. No. So, you know, and for him and Travis was like that with his birthday, his 50th birthday. He's like, I don't want like people act in a, you know, a fool. Like, I want this to be about me, not about you your show. and your, you know, everybody fighting the whole time and, like, creating a bunch of drama. Because we, it, that birthday cost us. Did y'all like, fight at that party? I think, no. I think that was a very, I think everyone had fun at that party. No. But that, I mean, that party cost us a small fortune. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it's like, you don't, I'm sure that the same thing with whatever they threw. It's expensive and you're there, especially if you're there with your other friends, you know, it's like. I get it. I get both sides. That's all I'm going to say. I get yep. I get everything. I get everything. And um, I'm just giving Lisa the benefit of a doubt that it was more something that producers pushed her to do, mm-hmm. to talk about, um, and not the other way around. Because I don't know. I've I've been there. Like, I've taken the bait before. when And then I regret it. Like, 30 minutes later, I'm like, shit, that got <laughs> me in trouble. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for listening and supporting. You can follow me at Steph Holman on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You can follow me at Trey underscore Stewart. You can follow our podcast at BS the Podcast. And you can watch us on YouTube at Weekly Dose of BS. Bye. Bye.